Hi, it's Brett, and I'm back again with another recipe, and this one is fantastic for all of the programs, the Detox and Slim. Uh, it's super, super nourishing and very, very low calorie. It's, it's an ideal health food recipe, and it's called Okra Mexican Curry, and or Mexican Okra Curry. And so what it is is okra, which is, it's a, it's a fascinating plant. Um, it's, it's got this un, really unique flavor, and it's traditionally used in Mexican and Indian foods. Uh, but it's not really commonly known in the West. So I thought we would use it. And you'll find a couple of okra curries on in the program on the website. So have a look around. But this one is super simple, super easy. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's the okra. And just a couple of cobs of corn. Four chilies and some chopped tomatoes and one onion. So all we're going to do with these is very simple. It's four ingredients plus the chilies. Is chop the ends off the okra and make them into little bite-sized pieces they're really interesting they've got a hexagonal and a honeycomb inside them which is quite cool when you see it in the food and then we'll just take the kernels off the corn so if you can't get fresh corn just use canned corn and you know just try and get it in water if you can and same with the chilies we'll just slice those up into little sliced chilies nicely there and then the onion just dice the onion just creates a base for the dish so it's very, very simple this. Once you've got these ingredients ready, it takes about literally five minutes to prepare. So a bit of coconut oil, and then we just put the onions and the chili in with a heaped tablespoon of Cajun. Just let that simmer for a minute or two, just until the onions soften. And then in goes the corn. Wanna get that nicely covered in the Cajun. Same with the okra. Now we'll just put the tomatoes in. So this is not really a curry with a sauce. We just let those tomatoes soften and then just sort of crush them a little bit with the spoon. And the juice will come out of those tomatoes and you've got your instant sauce with the Cajun in it. Very, very simple. But this okra has a, a really amazing flavor. It leaves you with sort of a citrusy, like a bitter, sour, citrusy taste. But with the tomato and the Cajun, it's absolutely delicious. And this could be a one pot meal, so it's enough for two people. Yeah, and that's about it. Um, what I did tonight with this one is I actually chopped some avocado over it as well, which is quite nice. Delishimo.